Welcome to an introduction to Uniface version control. We're going to show you Uniface source code natively in text files. From a developer's point of view, there is no difference, but your source code is in text. Let's have a look at those files. Firstly, there they are in the file system. Components, customer address, customer, simple component type forms. We can look at them in Notepad perform searches, whatever else we want. Okay, now let's see them in Internet Explorer. Here they've been styled using CSS and XSL. They can make nice reports, file them away. Okay, now let's get some work done. The boss has uh, set up a, a ticket here for me to do some work. I've got to order the results in these components by surname. So let's get that work done. We fire up the IDF. I'm using Uniface 9 here. The solution works with 6, 7, 8 and 9 of Uniface. Here we can see the code that I need to change. And I'm going to use an additional menu here. To reserve that so I can make the change. That's just the CM model I'm using here. If you're using an unreserved model you wouldn't need to do that step. That's entirely up to your version control tool. Now that I've reserved it I can do the work. Okay let's move on to the next form. This time I'm not going to reserve the file so that you can see what happens if you're using reserved mode. There we go. It's nice and clear that I can't make that change until I reserve it. So let's use the native tools rather than the additional menu. That orange file indicates I've already changed that one. This one's locked so I need to unlock it by reserving it. There we go. Now it's reserved. I can go back into the IDF now that it's got a green tick on it and make the change. Now that I've finished that change, I can commit it, check it in using the additional menu, but I could also use the native tools. I can use the native tools here and I'm going to not just check it in but I'm going to link it in to that job the boss gave me to do so he can see that I've completed the work. There we go. This message is telling me that my check-in has been successful. And if I check the ticketing system, I can see that my comments have been automatically entered. And the boss can look at those patches. Just a normal workflow with the added information of change management. Let's look at one other feature. As a developer, I want to go and look at the history of this object. See how it's changed. And I can compare what's in the IDF to any previous revisions side by side. Okay, so we've shown you Uniface source code natively in text files. There's other demos available. Please check them out on the website.